My name is Zena Misabello and I am a medical student here at Bills University. Just a question for you all. Is the brain of an artist different? I mean, is it different? <laughs> well, um, you, um, okay, you don't know that, but uh, the brain has two parts. There's the right and the left hemisphere. Now, the right hemisphere is responsible for logical, um, the right hemisphere is responsible for uh, uh, um, creativity and um, innovative ideas. Meanwhile, the left part of the brain is responsible for logical thinking, mathematics, and everything. Now, the question again is, does that mean that right-handed people are more creative than left-handed people? I mean, following the fact that right hemisphere is that and that. Well, the answer is yes and no at the same time. Yes, because a right-handed person can do things better than a left-handed person one, but not because a left-handed person, uh, okay, the right hemisphere controls or is more dominant in a left-handed person. Hence, a left-handed person is going to actually be more creative than a right-handed person. Now again, oh, rather, growing up as a child, I've always wanted to become a medical doctor, but then I love art. I mean, any form of art, I mean, look around us. This is a form of art. Comedies, um, these comedians and everything, that's all a form of art. Colors, everything around us, architecture is art. What I'm trying to basically say is that we all cannot live without, we cannot live without art. Two of us, obviously, and even the clothes we're wearing, that's a form of art. The colors of my dress is a form of art. That's aside. Personally, I um, I use art to study. I mean, I, I cannot imagine myself studying without making sketches, um, diagrams, illustrations, and all of that. So what I'm trying to say is that, okay, now to medical students here, yeah? I think if medical students were to embrace art, they're actually going to do better in their academics. Why? Because even lecturers, they prefer students who draw for them, then further explain from the drawings. Because if not, why do lecturers bring um, why, why do they use um, the smart boards to um, showcase um, this thing? The PowerPoint slides and everything. That is a form of art. Because if it were just that, a lecturer would just come in and then just teach and then explain, dictate, and just go. But then with slides, the students are more able to understand what the lecturer is trying to say. Now, that aside, I would like to talk about these three things. Yeah behind me. Now to this, I don't know if you all can see the illustrations on, on this painting, but I've had this idea that was about a week ago or something. The idea was about, um, okay, now everyone here amongst us is going through one or two things, two of us. I mean from a broken, like the first diagram here, the illustration is of a broken home. I mean, you don't know what broken homes do to kids. I mean, um, students, for example, now. Broken homes could lead to um, addiction. Do you get? Need to carry or bear a fruit. And this fruit is the child. The reason why I made the child in white background is because, you know, children are, or, for her, or, 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 or perhaps, uh, this is the fetus, because it has not been born yet. The reason why it's made in white is because he's new, fresh, no problems, nothing, exactly. So this could just mean or could be interpreted as the beauty of pregnancy. This is the beauty of pregnancy. And for this, I love horses, I ride horses, I do a lot of things. But at the same time, I want to become a medical doctor. And I'm, I'm chasing that dream. 
but that still wouldn't hinder me from uh, doing my arts, paintings, my drawings, and stuff. In conclusion, I'd like to say that um, art, art is just something that is being underrated in this country. Because we just cannot do without art. One, has art rather um, helps or perhaps makes study easier. For me as a medical student, I can testify to that. And I urge for other medical students like me to not just be burdened with them. Okay, I wouldn't say burdened, but then <laughs> to perhaps look outside of the box, look outside of medicine. Okay, just because you are a medical student, it does not mean you cannot do other things in your life. So, I'll leave it to that. These are my paintings, and I love to paint, I love to draw. And I said that I am going to make an exceptional doctor. I want to become a legal surgeon, and I'll choose that. So, so yeah, that was the end of my presentation. And